Hello everyone and greetings. My name is Carl Volk and I'm an engineer at Kinetic Technologies in Silicon Valley, California. Welcome to our video series on the KTD2061, which is our awesome new 36-channel RGB LED driver chip. You might ask what makes it awesome? Well, in a nutshell, it reduces your system costs and at the same time it makes your product look more expensive. This video series has 11 parts. In part one, we'll introduce the KTD2061 and give a brief overview of its benefits. The KTD2061 is a 36-channel LED driver chip with an I2C serial interface. It is intended to drive up to 12 RGB color LED modules in applications that benefit from accent and indicator lighting patterns and effects. Color LEDs are finding their way into all sorts of products these days, so the KTD2061 has a broad spectrum of applications. Among these are smart speakers, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi loudspeakers, gaming devices including keyboards, controllers, and VR headsets, automotive interior lighting, which includes accent lighting, mood lighting, and instrumentation and switchgear, robots and machines, toys and gadgets, and battery-powered devices. The KTD2061's block diagram reveals one of its big differentiators, namely the use of multiplexed LED driver outputs. With only 12 pins, it is able to drive and control the individual currents of all 36 LED channels. Each output pin has a high side, low RDS on switch, and a low side digitally controlled current sink. At any given moment, only the switch or the current sink is enabled. The switches and current sinks are multiplexed at 25% duty cycle and 23 kHz frame rate. The 23 kHz multiplexing frequency is specifically chosen to avoid the audio frequency band. You'll also notice that the KTD2061's output pins and RGB modules are arranged in three buses of four wires each. This is to minimize the PCB routing and to keep the duty cycle at 25%, which works well for virtually all LEDs. Multiplexing provides two very substantial benefits. First, it enables the use of a lower cost package that is about three times smaller than the closest competitors. And there are three times fewer PC board traces to the LEDs, which simplifies PC board layout and may even save a few PCB layers. We'll give more details on size and layout benefits in part three of this video series. Another key advantage is that the KTD2061 integrates 36 independent exponential fade engines, one for each LED. These hardware fade engines make beautiful and smooth lighting animations easy to program without any burden on the system software. This results in far less, often thousands of times less, activity on the I2C bus, as well as far less consumption of, of processing power in the system's microcontroller unit. These benefits can be used in one of two ways. You can use a less expensive MCU, or you could program more engaging lighting effects with the same MCU, thereby increasing the end product's appeal. We'll give more details on the exponential fade engines in part 5 of this video series, and we'll give software examples in part 11. Some applications of the KTD2061 will be powered from batteries. In such cases, the quiescent supply current of the KTD2061 is from 6 to 9 times less than its closest competitors. Additionally, it includes patented bright extend technology that automatically maintains color balance and power supply ripple rejection at low input voltages, such as from a single cell lithium ion battery. We'll cover more about bright extend in part 6 of this video series. There are other benefits not included in this list. That's why we have 11 parts in the video series. But in part 2, we'll simply show a demo of the KTD2061 and many lighting effects and patterns. While watching the video, please be sure to notice the overall beautiful and smooth animations provided by the fade engines. Thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe. And be sure to click on other videos in the series for more on the KTD 2061.